Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. Today I'm showing you how to enter expressions into the TI-84 Plus calculator. I have other videos about how to use your TI-84 Plus. You'll see the link to that playlist in the description. If there's something that you'd like to know about the calculator, shoot me a message and I will happily make a video for you. Um, when you're entering expressions, you want to make sure that if you have a, something where you have a numerator and denominator, that you tell the calculator the numerator, this entire numerator is being divided by the denominator. And you do that by using your parentheses. In parentheses above the 8 and 9, you use those all the time. So I'm going to do 14 divided by, and again, I don't want to divide just by 2. I want to divide by 2 plus 7. So I have another set of parentheses, 2 plus 7. Then I'm going to end those parentheses, and now I'm done with the numerator, so I'm going to end those parentheses. So I've got two sets of parentheses. Whenever you have one on the left, you need to have a corresponding one on the right. Divide that by 3, hit enter to get your answer. In the second one, we want to do some stuff under a square root. We're going to use that square root button that's above the x squared, so second function um, x squared, and then we're going to put in a fraction in that. So again, the top I want to be in parentheses and I could put both of these in parentheses like I have here I could also just say 0 0.75 times 0 0.25 that's what that means anyway so rather than enter all those parentheses I could just do this but now I'm finished with the numerator under here and so that I'm going to divide by 15 and hit enter to get that answer and the next one I want the cubic root of 18 the cubic root button is in under math and if you see here you can see it as number four you can use your buttons to go down to 4 and then hit enter or you can just hit 4 on your calculator and then enter 18 and hit enter and get your answer that way and this one we have a lot of things going on but we want to take the entire thing to the second power so I want to start by having a parentheses and then I have this numerator that's the, another set of parentheses for me so parentheses 44 divided by 11 times 2 I'm not putting the second set of parentheses up here because I just want to work that left to right, so I don't want to include anything else. Then I'm going to end my parentheses. That's the top. And now I'm going to divide by a square root, second function, x squared of 9, which we know is 3. And now I want to put another parentheses. Look what happens if I put that in. I'm just going to be underneath the radical and it's going to give me an error message. I don't want to delete this whole thing and start over. I'm just going to go back to that and hit delete. I don't want that there. I want to get out from under here. I'm going to use my button to get out from under, and then I'm going to put that in second parentheses, and now I can take the whole thing to the second power. I could use this button and then hit 2, or since it's to the second power, I can just use this quick button right there and then hit enter. All right, in the next one, I will have the fifth root of 32. When you have the fifth root, you're going to start off by entering that root, which is 5, then go up to math again, and you can see here the number 5 on our list has an X. That means you can put whatever root you want in there. We just told it it was going to be 5. So I'm going to hit 5, or I can scroll down and hit that like that. That gives me the fifth root of 32. Again, I'm underneath the radical. I want to get out of that. I'm going to scroll over by using the arrow key. Times that by 18. Again, I can put parentheses around things or not. If I do, it reads it as, whoops, I don't want that. I'm going to go back. It reads it as a multiplication with the parentheses, but it reads it as a multiplication with the asterisks that we get from using that. So either way, hit enter, and there you go. And the last one that I want to look at is 3 fifths, 3 divided by 5. Fractions are just division problems, but when you enter them this way, of course, you're going to get <clears throat> a decimal answer. And sometimes you want a fraction answer. So once you get your decimal, you can come up here to math, and you want fraction. So I'm going to hit enter, and that's going to say, hey, take your answer, change it to a fraction, and if you hit enter, you'll get two-fifths. So that's just some common things you want to think about as you're entering expressions. Um, have a fantastic day, and we'll talk to you next time.